Alright everyone, so today we're going to be starting on a project for Python. So, I've taught you guys pretty much all the basics you need to know on how to create something basic. You know how to make classes, you know how to use lists, you know how to pretty much use everything that would be the equivalent to Python's arithmetic if you compared it to math. So, now we're actually going to apply what we know. So this is like the story problem, okay guys? So, hopefully that made sense to you guys and you don't just think I'm stupid now. Anyways, what we're going to do is build a small text-based video game. And so this is going to contain two classes, each with attack and defense and dying and experience and those kind of methods so that your le your character can level up, your character has a name, they can ha have weapons equipped to it and all kinds of other fun stuff. And then you guys on your own can understand how it works so you can extend it and do whatever else you want to do to the game. So we'll start right here and we're going to start off by importing the random module. Um, I haven't really gone over that at all but basically the random module allows you to make random numbers and other random things and we are going to use the random integer inside of it that way we can kind of make a random chance to attack and a random chance to defend. What we're going to do is make a base class for our characters. So all characters are going to follow this same class. So we're just going to say class, character, and object. And it's not going to be too fancy or anything. It's It'll be pretty much just like your standard thing. We're going to say define the init method, which we've gone over before. This is the constructor for a class. And it's going to take the name and level of the character. And we're going to say self.name is equal to name. And self.level is equal to level. And self.health is going to be equal to, let's say, it's going to be the integer of level half times three divided by two. Not even sure what that comes out to as far as math, but it looks complex um, at a first glance, unless you're like, you know, real smart with algebra and you guys are gonna be like, that's not complicated enough, in which case, just keep it to yourself. No one will care. Or they might care, and then people will hate my videos. So just Make yours more complex if you want. Anyways, so we have our self.name, our self.level, and our self.health. So health is going to be how much health they have before they die. Uh, level is going to be their level. And self.name is equal to name. So, awesome, cool. Now what we're going to do is, actually let's space this out a little bit better. We're going to define another method and we're going to call this attack. Or, no, actually, First, we'll make the die method. So, define die, and this will again take self. It's also going to take DMG, which will be damage, the amount of damage done to your health. So we know how much health to subtract away from you while you're getting your butt beat by some dude who's been like wasting his entire life on this game. Because this is going to be like a multi-million dollar thing, guys. So you're going to want to watch. Anyways, Corin, and we're going to say self dot health is equal to or is minus equal damage so it'll just subtract damage away from the current health and set health back down to that new uh, level then what we're going to say is if self dot health is greater than zero or no we're going to say is less than or equal to zero we're going to print out the message um, print oops, percent s has died exclamation point and then we're going to say modulus um, or percent self dot name so it'll say the name of your character has died and then that's that's the end so then we'll also say break or no we're not going to say break because that would be stupid anyways then we can say else print 
um, percent s has lost percent i health percent and then self dot self dot name comma self dot um, or no not even a self just dmg close off the parentheses on that and now whenever that person dies we will <clears throat> have something print out on the screen so let's actually test this out by making a character from our class so we'll say Kurt is equal to new character or not new character is equal to character character I can spell and we'll give them the name Kurt and the level 13 and then we'll say Kurt dot die um, actually you know what let's rename the die method to damage because it doesn't necessarily mean that they will die so that makes a little bit more sense. You always want to make your program make sense because then if someone else comes in and starts developing it with you, you don't have to explain everything to them. Um, also in a real situation, you're going to want to comment your code more thoroughly than I have because I haven't done it at all. Um, but yeah, commenting and readability of your code makes a world of difference. Anyways, so curse does damage and we'll say four. Um, and actually, <laughs> let's make sure that this is not going to come out to something less than 4 so we don't die right away. Um, so 13 divided by a half and this is all going to be converted into an integer as well. So we're looking at 7.5 times 3 so we're looking at like somewhere around like 21, 22 um, and then we're dividing that by half so we're at like 11 so actually let's, let's pump this up to like 8 and then again we'll do curt.damage and then we'll do this one like 20 just so we know that we die. Um, we'll save this as I guess project.py and let's actually run this. So you can either click run and then uh, run module F5 or just press F5 and so we see Kurt has lost 8 health. Kurt has died. Dun 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 dun. Okay well the dun 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 wasn't there but it works, so we can successfully take damage to a character. Um, and if we wanted to, we could also make it so the person heals um, through like some rate. But we'd have to do that during like a combat function that would not affect the actual character, and would like manually set the health up. Or we could even make it a, a method on the character class that says like heal or something like that, and then say how much uh, health and stuff. But that's something we can do later if we even get to it. Um, anyways. Right now, let's just kind of make the outline for our attack method. So self, um, that's all it's going to take. And we'll say dmg is going to be equal to self.level divided by 2 times 0.5, or not by 0.5. Um, times 1.5 and so we'll take half of it so the level is 13 for example on our guy it would go down to 7.5 7.5 times 1.5 so like 3.75 um, so yeah now that, that seems still a little bit too overpowered so then we'll divide that by 2 again or you know what divide by 4 so that comes out to be about 3 so yeah, we're not overkilling everyone. That that sounds about right. Um, probably not, but oh well. And then we'll say return DMG. So what this will do is when we attack that person, we will have a method called damage, which we have, and um, we will say attack and feed that through the. We'll use the our attack method. So we'll say something like, I can actually just show it down here. We can say, let's say Chris is equal to character Chris, say he's 20, and then we can go down here and we can say something like Chris dot damage Kurt dot attack. And so it'll take the attack return from ours and put it in there. However, 
we want to add some chance into here. And we'll get into that in the next video because we're running out of time and I don't want to make this too long. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been part one of probably like a part four series on our little mini project. If you guys have any, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or send me a PM. Thank you guys for watching uh, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.